What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the very old LEGO set 10211 Grand Emporium from the LEGO Creator Series. And before we get started, I want to let you guys know that I have a new LEGO stop motion music video out, so you can click this card or click the link in the description below to check that out. Now, this is one of the modular buildings, and again, uh, in my recent reviews, I've been doing a lot of big sets. So you can see it almost barely fits into the camera frame once again. And uh, this set came out in 2010, retailed for $149.99, was for ages 16 and up, and had 2,182 pieces. So uh, yeah, these modulars are really cool. Of course, this is a corner building, because you can see it builds out to the corner instead of facing any one way uh, itself. In these days, this set goes for at least $200, usually in the $250 range. So it's definitely appreciated well. And how I got this is I recently, uh, about a month ago, bought somebody's uh, Lego collection and it had all kinds of Lego Batman stuff in it. And that was cool. There's a card right here if you want to check out that video. But this happened to be a part of it. So I actually ended up selling a lot of that Lego Batman stuff on eBay. And uh, I, I ended up finding this and I'm going to keep this. So considering, you know, I sold all the Batman stuff and kind of made my money back. This is basically free. So anyways, the thing about these sets are the uh, minifigures are kind of bland because they all have just a regular smiley face. But, uh, you know, like this guy is changing pants because, of course, he's about to, you know, go shopping for some pants. So this is what uh, this figure looks like. He's got a little envelope here to put into that mailbox. And we'll take a closer look at all of this stuff in just a moment. I just kind of wanted to get the minifigures out of the way. So this is the window cleaner. You can see up here, that's where you would put him to clean the windows. So, uh, you know, pretty basic figures all around, but they're still pretty neat. This figure here has some shopping bags. Looks like she just had a fun day out shopping for some new clothes. And then we've got two more figures here. Uh, this one's just kind of like a generic salesperson kind of deal. And then this kid uh, goes near the ice cream stand about to buy some ice cream. So let's go ahead and move in a little bit closer and take a look at this set floor by floor. Um, but before we do that, I will spin this around just so you can see all of the exterior details that we've got here. So it is a really, really great exterior. It's probably easiest to look at it this way. And something really cool about these sets, you can see I left a Technic pin right there. It's gonna be pretty tiny on this screen, but there's a Technic pin here too. And you could put those on either side and all of the creator buildings have those pins so that you can put them together to build a city if you get multiple sets. So that's pretty cool. And this will definitely find its way into my city. So you can see there's this little back alleyway here with the door. Um, and again, just kind of pointing out the exterior at large so you can see that. So let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look at this first floor. All right, so getting in at the ground level here, so to speak, uh, we do have a nice pavement uh, build here with these flat pieces. Got a little lamppost here. We've got a mailbox, which opens from the other side, which that guy from before, you can put his mail in. We've got some flower pots outside, a little ice cream stand here, which is really neat. And then just a box, uh, nothing particularly cool in there. I do like this build here with these, uh, you know, curved pieces. It's a really, really nice exterior there. Uh, building the words shop up front, or I suppose the letters is more accurate, was really neat. And uh, I really love these little uh, cheese slope pieces here that really just bring it together. So the flags are a nice touch and all of that is great. So that's basically the exterior of the uh, first floor here. Then of course you can see we've got this little spinning door here, which is really neat. And I'll show you that build here now. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way and go ahead and take a look at the interior here. All right, so now we're to the interior and it's a really neat uh, build here. So the inside of the store is obviously like a clothing store of sorts. Uh, as you can see here, here's that door again spinning. Really neat play feature there. We've got some hats on display up front here, as you can see right up here. We've got a little table of perfume bottles dead center here. We've got some pants on display with some short legs up here on the wall. And then in the windows, which is interesting to see, I guess it was a little bit tough to see um, when we were on ground level there, but there's some mannequins in the window. So a guy wearing a suit, a woman wearing a dress, which kind of looks a little medieval for what I would expect to see in a store like this, but it is a really cool uh, you know, display nonetheless. And then moving back inside, there's a little dressing room here. You can see that there's a little stool for somebody to sit on there. And then they use these black capes for drapes. So somebody would have some privacy while changing there, which is neat. 
And then there's this brick-built escalator. Now, the escalator doesn't move or anything. It's just kind of built to give it the effect like it looks like it's moving. But it doesn't have any play features aside from looking cool. So that is the entirety of the first floor. Alright, now sadly, I think that the second floor actually leaves a lot to be desired. There's really nothing going on here, and when I was building it, I guess I didn't think of it, but it is something that, looking at it right now, uh, you know, under the scope of a review, it's pretty bland. We've got some gold plates here, some glassware, but something that really bothered me about this set as a whole is, you know, going back down to the first floor, you could see where it displayed these pants on the wall and stuff. Look at all this empty wall space that could have been used to you know, maybe put some plates up hanging on the wall or something like that. I just, I feel like the wall space of this build in its entirety was really underutilized. And, you know, while I love the uh, layout and the build of everything, I just feel like for a big shop that, you know, <laughs> these Lego people would be paying insane rent for in the downtown Lego metropolitan area, they just don't really utilize the uh, shelf space at all in this set. So that would be my one complaint. Now, luckily, things do get a little bit better up here on the third floor, which is kind of like the kids' area, I suppose. We've got a little birdhouse or dollhouse or something here. We've got some, uh, you know, little uh, sports balls there that sit in this little rack there. And then we've got a little scooter build, which is interesting. You know, it's not a functional scooter. It's just for looks. But perhaps the most interesting part is this chandelier build up top here. It's a really, really solid build, um, and, you know, it's really solid in the fact that it you know doesn't sway or move like the brick bank one does if any of you guys are familiar with that set and so that's the third floor and then since we're here i'm just going to go ahead and throw the roof on and all of these floors just kind of rest on top of each other so you can see that the roof wobbles a little bit you know the floors do wobble but you know they don't actually stick to anything they just kind of interlock so you can see right up here this little gray piece that is kind of what holds everything together in the corners there. So everything sits together just like this. And then as we move up to the top floor here, you can see that there's this really nice uh, utilization of these big windshield pieces that kind of make for a giant roof window, if you will. There's some really great building techniques here with these one by three flat pieces that I really like. Uh, of course, we do have this window cleaning thing here again. So if you take this guy here that has the little mop in his hand, you can put him right there, and he falls right in line to clean the windows, which is really nice. And then moving over here, we do have this billboard. Now, because of how the camera's angled, I'm just going to take this off to show you, but it's a really nice brick-built billboard with the present being like 3D, if you will. And I really, really like that look. So that's the roof, and basically we're taking a Spider-Man or Bird's view, uh, view of this set. So let's back out, and I'll give you my final thoughts as we take one last overview. All right, guys, well, needless to say, I really, really like this set. Uh, nowadays, like I said, you're not going to be able to find this for under 200 unless you get, like, miraculously lucky like I did with this haul. So if you need this one for your collection, I dropped a link in the description below where you can pick it up on eBay or Amazon, but it is going to cost you a mint. Uh, but if you like this set, I do highly recommend it. It's just a little pricey by today's standards. So drop a comment below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys on the next video. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So, thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.